Hey, how you doing? Hey, this is Admin from Plex Guide. So still doing part of the 7.5 upgrade series. So, you know, we're kind of going back and hashing out all these containers because, uh, you know, <laughs> Plex Guide has gotten monstrously big. Uh, if you didn't know on the side originally, the purpose of Plex Guide was just to set up this in a VM and basically to set up like no more than four containers and call it a day. So, <laughs> and now it's grown monstrously big. So anyways, we're here to talk about um, Cloud CMD. So Cloud CMD is a very great product to use in order to access your server. So make sure it's secure when you're using it. But what it does, it allows you to basically access it directly, drop files to it, uh, pull things. And originally we used it for Super Transfer 2, originally from Flickr rate. So I had this inspiring idea. It's like, hey, um, there's got to be a quicker way we could drop files in order to verify keys, right? So now your keys are easy to do. So while I'm talking, what, I, what I'll do is uh, while we're talking, so we're going to go ahead and just deploy this. Um, but that's how we discovered Cloud CMD. Great program. And a lot of people don't, don't even realize its full potential. So we're going to go ahead and type Cloud CMD. The default password is going to be Plex. And then, the, uh, I mean, users Plex, and then the password is Guide. So one of the very helpful programs. Originally, we had three different versions of this thing launch. So one for you to install, one for Super Transfer 2, and then one for I can't remember. So it's, it's amazing. This was only probably like six months ago, and I'm already forgetting this stuff. So uh, again, Cloud CMD is a very powerful tool. Just make sure you have a, a good password set for it. Um, like I said, we just got Plex Guy just to kind of make it easy for you to start up. And it's pretty much pretty simple to access. If you do want to access it directly, if you have traffic set up, it is cloudcmd.domain.com. Um, nope, no cron job. And then obviously you can see the port number here, 79999. Pretty simple, right? So we're just going to go ahead here and we're going to go to port 7999. And there's the password it's asking for. And that part, the program was fun because there was no guide on that. But there was no way that we could allow uh, this, this program to run openly. So what you're looking at right now is directly at the server. So if I look here and I exit, basically you're looking at the root of server. So if I go CDC, LSLA, and then here it is. So if I do uh, touch, let's see, make directory Apple, and then just to make sure we got it, LSLA, can't remember if this works. L A R no. Reverse, yeah. Okay, so there's Apple right there. So if we refresh this, we should see Apple here. Oh, there it is, right there. See, so it's pretty simple. Um, you can go into the files. You can drag and drop stuff from your desktop. So right now I'm using my uh, Pixelbook. I don't have my Mac or my Windows PC in front of me. And trust me, uh, I stay multi diverse. That, that's how you stay up with all this technology. But you can uh, download files. So if I need to uh, download something, let's see what's in GDSA2. So like this. So you can delete, you can extract, you can upload things to the cloud. So this program has a lot of wonderful options. If you go here to F10, this is where you can change your username and password. Um, Vim access, I haven't really played with this. This is how we're accessing it. Basically, I programmed this to, to access your root um, so you can get there directly so and then you can turn off you know confirm copy move if you're using this quite a bit and uh, how you want to download your particular formats so there's nothing here but if I take this and you see you, you can right click on it and then I just go to the sorry it's been a hot minute download and there we go so put it in a tar gz format for me because right now I'm on a Linux system and that's how I set it up. But other than that, it's pretty, it's pretty useful. So if I need to uh, do a file here and call it edit sh and I hit OK. And then I go back, see so it goes CD GDSA02, and I type ls tac la. Sorry, it's a Here's the edit sh. So I'm going to type uh, nano edit sh and type hello and then save it. And then obviously you can see it says zero bits and there's the changes. So it's pretty cool. Like it's, it's 
it's it's like a explorer for uh, your server. So again, great program. Just make sure that you properly secure this. Um, make sure you know what you're doing. Oh, look at that. I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> if you mode, I was wondering about that. Never did mess with it. Contact. So I'm sorry. This is this is badass. <laughs> sorry, you're just doing you're doing discovery with me, right? I'll, I'll, oh, really? <laughs> I didn't even notice it existed. Maybe that, I know there's some updates and it's been quite a while. So if if this is working like I think it is, we we definitely really have to push this on the wiki. Uh, let me see. Make let me see CD there. Touch uh, bat txt and then ls tech la holy crap okay so so we got command line access holy crap this thing's more powerful than i thought uh i highly doubt this works yeah okay so i was just having flex guy so it looks like you can do simple commands so move bat text to corn text ls tech la and there it is okay so Looks like we discovered something together. So anyways, check out Cloud CMD. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to expand on this and definitely promote this program because I do not remember them doing this here. So that's council, that's terminal. No way. <laughs> okay. It's not, not doing anything. I definitely need to look into this. Kind of curious what this is, connecting. Okay, so that's, it looks like that's just hitting the author up. So hopefully you enjoyed Discovery. If you like this video, um, like, comment, uh, join us on the community. I appreciate people donating, definitely keeping um, this admin off my back. Um, and other than that, you have a good day. Later.